So I was reminiscing today of an experience and how it shaped me. I was 18 years old. I was a senior in high school. It was February of 1999, and I was in the back parking lot of Utah Valley University. David O. McKay Event Center, or the UCCU Credit Union, it's now called. I was in the back parking lot. It was freezing cold, and I was crying. And I was crying and um, trying to gather my thoughts, trying to gather my composure, trying to understand these emotions I was having. And out walked this, um, the dad of a, of a wrestling rival I had back during the years. He walks out with his son's bracket. He's got this big bracket that you, when you win a tournament, you get given the bracket. And it was always my dream to win the state tournament. And he walks out with the one his son had just won, and he puts it in the car, and he's all smiling and happy. And I'm out there in the corner, and I'm just crying. And um, he and I were rivals. And he was a weight class below me this year, my senior year. But he won state, and I didn't. And it was my senior year, and I realized that I would never win state. So I was out there, and I was crying. And I didn't know what to make of it. And I had all my life, wrestling had been my life. All my life, I had wanted to win state. All my life, that's all that mattered. And it was the most important thing to me. You know, school came secondary. Uh, Everything came secondary to, to wrestling. And I was sitting out there. And just super bummed about this. Didn't know what I was going to do with my life. And I started having all these self-doubt. Am I a failure? Am I always going to fail? Will I always fall short of my dreams? All these thoughts start going through my mind. And as I cried and didn't know what else to do, I had this moment, this soul-searching moment where I had an epiphany. And it hit me that... The reason wrestling mattered so much to me and the reason that taking state had mattered so much to me wasn't about taking state because really 20 years later, what does that ultimately matter? It was about me proving to myself that I could become the best version of myself possible. And at the time that was wrestling, the best version I could see myself becoming in wrestling was to be a state champ and I didn't hit it. Okay. So I, In that moment of soul searching and tears and sadness, I made a commitment to myself. I made a decision that even though I fell short of my wrestling dream, even though I fell short of taking state, I was not, I would not fall short of becoming the best version of myself. I would not fall short of what was ultimately way more important, and that was that I became the version of myself that God intended me to be. And I made that commitment that night in that parking lot. And I didn't know exactly what that meant at the time, but it sent me on a journey that I didn't even know I was on. It sent me on a journey to figure out who I was going to be, to figure out what I was going to do, how I was going to make my mark on on the world. And as I went through, this is now 20 years ago, 20 years ago exactly is when this happened. As I went through, I had lots of experiences with business, ups and downs with my professional life and my personal life, and realized that that there were there were certain things, there were five things to be exact, that the best wrestlers always did. And there are these five things that they always did, and I always did almost daily to have success in wrestling. And as I went through this journey trying to figure out how I was going to become my person, and I shouldn't say went through, I'm going through this journey. As I go through this journey trying to figure out who I am and how I'm going to make my mark, um, I realized that when I was having my most success off the mat, I was applying the same five habits that I did almost daily as a wrestler. And so... Just recently, I had this moment where I was like, what am I going to do to make a difference for people? I want to find a way to help more people get their financial house in order. Having your financial house in order to me does not mean you're filthy rich. It does not mean you own a jet. 
To me, having your financial house in order means that your bills are paid, you have money coming in even if you don't go out to work, and you have um, no financial stress, let's put it that way. You can do the things you need to do and you want to do to accomplish your life mission. To me, that's having your financial house in order. So I decided that I'm going to make that my priority to help as many people as possible get their financial house in order. One of the ways I'm doing that is by writing this book and a training platform around it called Five, the five habits that made you successful in wrestling, how you apply those off the mat as well. Okay. So I'm, I'm writing this book. I'm creating this training platform and I invite you to follow along and join with us on that. Go ahead and get your free copy. Reserve your free copy of the book at the wrestling room.club the wrestling room.club also please connect with me let i see you guys popping on and off of these videos leave a message let me know who you are let me know what your involvement or lack of involvement is with wrestling let me know what you're working on now so i can see how i can help in these future videos and things like that thank you for tuning in please leave a comment let me know who you are and what you're currently working on so we can apply the same things that made us successful in wrestling to the rest of our lives okay Go pick up your free copy. They're not ready yet, but I'll send you one when they are at the wrestlingroom.club. Thank you.